Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. A general reminder for you guys, for those who don't know, MIC is having a one year anniversary event. It's coming up where Bao is going to be trading live in front of members. Uh, August 17th, mark your calendars. As an added benefit for our members, the event is 100% free for annual and lifetime members and it's only access to them as there is limited seating. While lifetime members on top of that get extra coaching before the event and front row seating. While most charge for these events, we show our support by making it free for annual and lifetime members. If you are interested in signing up and attending this event, DM T Bradley 90 in Slack and or email myself at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. Now, today we have a very special video for you guys. One of our head MIC moderators, Matt, who goes by Chicago Trader in chat, who also, alongside Joe Kelly, does a weekly video series, but he's on fundamentals, today focuses his efforts on a, quote-unquote, a deep dive of ticker symbol DARE, D-A-R-E. While this is just a sample of the full-length video, if you want to watch the full-length version or any of our exclusive content, then become an MIC member. What's going on, guys? Chicago Trader here, checking in for the weekly fundamental video. Hope you guys are having a nice weekend. Um, Couple stocks moved this week. Uh, I'm going to cover Dare Bioscience this week. It had some news out, uh, I think it was Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, next week, I'm definitely going to be doing Workhorse. Um, wanted to get it this week, but it's going to be a pretty long one. It's going to take some time to kind of uh, put together a little presentation, if you will. So for now, we'll do Dare, and then next week's will probably be one of the longer ones. Definitely one of the more interesting moves, um, you know, from a. Um, just a whole perspective of kind of having an agenda for a company, if you will. So, uh, Dare, uh, if we look at this, they had some news come out um, on the 8th. So, they basically announced a publication in a journal, uh, their Dare FRT1, and they published it in Drug Delivery and Translational Research. Um, so, it didn't seem like too important of news. The volume was pretty weak and uh, uh, pre market. But what was interesting, too, was if you look exactly a month before, they also published this there, HRT1. Uh, it was just in a different journal, the Pharmaceutical Scientist. So you could pretty much say it's rehash news, you know, publishing uh, the same thing in a different journal, although it is a different journal. It's the same thing, essentially, um, that when you're going through looking at the float. So in this case, if you come down here um, on the 8th, the float of this was 9.1 million. But since the it doesn't include this amount of shares, right? You got to add this 4.5. So I, you always will add that unless there's an insider that participated in the offering, right? Or, or somebody that owns more than 10% because they have uh, restrictions against that, just flipping for a profit if you're an insider, a director, a CEO, so on and so forth. Um, this one. So if you come down here to the highlight, uh, the board, the chairman of the board bought 454,000 shares. So obviously you're going to use this number as 4.1 instead of 4.5, right? Because he's going to be uh, restricted. He can't just flip it the next couple of days if it pops. Um, so with that being said, your float's going to be closer to 13.1 million, 13.2-ish. Um, going to the lockup, just so we can kind of look through this real quick. You can even see here. So it's actually, so when you think of lockup with IPOs, a lot of them are 180 days or you know six months before insiders can sell. This one you can see here, uh, it's just a period of 60 days. So, I mean, even for, I don't know what this guy brings home in a salary, but buying, you know, almost half a million dollars worth of shares um, in a dollar stock is you know, fairly significant. Hey, traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T O S H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.